Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here. I'm bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Clash of the Heroes sneak preview booster pack opening. It definitely does feel like it's been a while since the last sneak preview for Cardfight Vanguard. Dragon Masquerade was a couple months ago, so we've definitely had a long gap in between main Cardfight Vanguard booster sets, but Clash of Heroes is definitely an awesome one with two brand new encounter decks, Blonde Ezel and Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, and then new support for all of the glitter decks and many more decks to get support as well. I believe there's even two new decks along with support for three other ones as well. So 10 decks in total to build from this booster set. With every sneak preview, you also get the new promo card, which is the Mythiarch Habitat. This is for the new deck for the set as well. A new Stoikea deck, which hopefully we can pull some of the cards for. And the playmat this time around is the famed Blazing Demonic Lady, Oriens. I feel like we get so many Dark States playmats, but another one for the new grade two support we have in the set also. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the opening. We also have the prize packs, which always seem to have some pretty good pools, which we'll save for the end as well. But for each sneak preview that is wrapped up in these little uh, rings here, you get five packs. And let's see what we can get. Plenty of new cards. Here is Silver Fang Witch remade for the encounter deck for Blonde Ezel. Same with Gareth, as you see here. And then here's for the new Mythiarch deck as well. And we have Desire Devil, Sasio, and Reign Supreme, King of the Beasts, the new order for Ezel. Also, I'll do my best to keep the foils and the rares separated from the foils also. Or did I say commons as well? Here's the new starter for the deck also. And uh, this is also from the same new support as well, the arms deck. Very awesome. And then we have a reception of the famed Demonic Mansion and famed Harsh Demonic Lordling, Bathium. New double rare for, um, I'm not sure if this is for Chaos or if it's for uh, search your deck or drop for up to one reception. Uh, it's right here. This is the order that you can search for with this card. So pretty awesome to pull the double rare that searches out the order as well. So our first foil is a double rare. Next pack. Yeah, they have like arms. It's almost like that one deck from Yu-Gi-Oh, but they were able to su successfully, successfully make it, excuse me. In Vanguard, we have a serious fight and Dragonic Death Scythe for the Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion deck. Another double rare, but an awesome looking one at that. I'm not sure which encounter deck I want to build, if any. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of both, actually. Blonde Ezel and Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. And you can see just all the new encounter cards with the, you know, uh, bottoms they have for the different uh, color there. We have Spring Breeze Dragon and a frame rare of Desire Devil Sasio for our next foil. And last pack from the first entry. Can we pull a triple rare from this one? Let's see. It's always crazy to see just the different ratios we get for cards in each one. But we have another Serious Fight and an Anomalous Pulsar Dragon. Greedon Mask is also in this set, so it's interesting that they put in a main series deck in these glitter decks, because normally they don't put too many cards from the anime in these booster sets, but we also have yet to see the Greedon in the anime. And our first triple rare for the sneak preview is Poison in Paradise, Eva, one of the new glitter grade threes, so that's our first one there, awesome. See what we have next. Uh, hey, row pineapple or hero pineapple for that one. We have Gatling Wave Dragon and Inciting Corruption Aga Manoff. So, this is another Chaos card. This one definitely does look demonic at that for the support for that deck. But I wonder if it's just going to be a one of as well, since the Chaos deck focuses on just running one of copies of cards also. So far still, just one triple. I believe there are 15 total triple rares in the set. So let's see what we can get next. That means three for each nation also. We have Spring Breeze Dragon and one who fulfills Spherical Harmony for the... If your Vanguard is grade four or greater, interesting for this card as well. So maybe potentially with support needed for the Dragon Tree deck if you were to use Brantgate maybe. Not sure. Next 
back. Yeah, not too many, if any, new triggers in this set either. We have Mythiarch, Alperial, and Gigantic Arms Silhouette, so the new deck for Brantgate, which is the Arms deck, new Grade 3 as well. So, so far, we're definitely pulling all of the Brantgate foils with this sneak preview. And last pack for the second sneak pack. We have Anomalous Pulsar Dragon, and we have Forefront Knight Tay Fault for our Grade 2s. So this is, I believe, one of the new generic Grade 2s. They have these for all the nations, and our first to pull is the Keter. Curious to see if they'll be pretty use staples, because like the Grade 3s we got from the Festival Booster are definitely good. And we've had previous you know, ones that are also pretty useful as well. Nope, looks like they put the Dragon Tree marker in here also for all the uh, Greedon players. Knight of Soaring Spear and Winged Dragon Cano Deptero for our two rares from that one. I am definitely looking for the cover card Roroa as well. It's the deck that I main of the five glitter decks. So I definitely hope to see that in here. We have a Bupress Stinger almost like a mega colony card for Stoikea here as well. Uh, when this is placed on rear, search your deck or drop for up to one sweet honey garden. I think that might be an order if I haven't seen it already yet from the packs I've pulled so far. And watch, I'm going to probably see it in this pack now. Keep my eye out. Red River Dragoon looks awesome as well. Gatling Wave Dragon and another Desire Devil, Sasio. pack. There's Rising Phoenix as well. Can't make a Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion deck without uh, Rising Phoenix. We have Anomalous Pulsar Dragon. Did I pull this already once? Was it a double rare? Uh, doesn't look like it, but it is a frame rare pulled as well. And last pack from the third entry. So let's see. Can I pull Roroa? That's what I want to see. Better late than never, we have Spring Breeze Dragon and Listener of Truth Dindrain, so our double rare for the Gold Paladin deck as well. Awesome. And on to sneak number four. So let's see what we can get from this one. I'm not sure what deck I want to build first, but oh, we have one of the uh, Bang Dream triggers. I was curious if they were going to be in the set or not, but it's a critical trigger for it as well. I don't even know, it doesn't say if it counts as a specific nation or if you could just run it in general. I have to double check how this works or if it's just a promotional uh, card to get, interesting. And then we have mine is your country's foundation and stealth dragon dual wielder. Yeah, I was curious if they, I think people said it was going to be in the set. I guess that just confirms it now as well. We have Three-Headed Monster, Trigant for the Archite deck, and Tier Knight, Lero Kills for the Blue Storm Armada deck. Interesting. So this is Maelstrom support, so more uh, encounter support in here also. I wonder if that means there are any Luquie or Minura cards in the set also that I just missed, because they are technically encounter cards. So these are the sets that get support for them. We have Corrosive Smoke Signals. So this is for... The Hydragrum Vanguard also, so Griffogilla, awesome. And Brilliant Gunfire Colossus for when this unit attack hits. If you have a grade four or greater Vanguard, counter charge one. So yeah, this all seems like more support for the Dragon Tree Griffogilla deck for all these different cards. So definitely maybe updating that deck soon as well. And let's see what the next pack gives us. There's another one there. And an Exaggerate Draco Kid for Dark Stains. And last pack from the fourth entry. Don't forget we have these four entries left and then the prize packs to open as well. But let's see, these are so adorable for the Mythiarch deck. The whole ride line is just adorable. And there is the main grade three for it. We have Mythiarch Luruzul for our grade three Vanguard for the deck. So I don't know if people will have high hopes for the deck, but uh, the actual promo is very useful just for Stoikea in general, it's just giving you more of an option to look at the top seven cards of your deck and choose up to one unit card with a grade less than or equal to your Vanguard and call it to rear. So it's just a very useful order to run in any Stoikea deck that you play. Next pack. 
I can see some triple rare foiling there. Let's see, we got another Corrosive Smoke Signals and the Playmat art this time around. Famed Blazing Demonic Lady Oriens. This is the Grade 2 uh, generic that I mentioned before that we pulled the one for the Keter Sanctuary so far. So now we have the Dark States one. And next pack. Let's see what we get. We have Fluctuate Buster Barrage and Kind Intentions Hunter Matthias. Okay, cool. This is a new card for Roroa. So I was hoping to pull some copies of this as well. It works with Rady Lena. So in turn, it also works for Roroa with the support it can do. And I got a Frame Rare copy also. But I need to actually pull Roroa now also. We have Serious Fight and the Dragon Empire grade to this time Latifa for this one. Awesome art as well. And two packs left from this entry. So let's see what we get. That Mythy Arc Rabbit again. There's the grade one for the ride line. Uh, Machineries Factory for the arm deck. And Knight of Brave Advance, Cadigan. So search your deck or drop for one uplifting him. Reveal it, put it in your hand. Interesting. I have to read through a good majority of these cards just to see what they all work with. I know we have some pretty good Gripogilla support in this set. We have the Greedon, the Arms deck, the Mythiarch deck. There's just so much support in this deck altogether. Ezel and Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, I guess, are new decks also technically. Beat up Draco Kid, another double rare for the serious fight. It might be for Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion for all I remember. But next pack. They also missed opportunity to put different arts on the packs. They did it for set five, but I can't remember if they did it for the second. Um, I think they all just had Minerva on the pack, though. Uh, Recite a Spell Dragon and Soul Oratorio Chaos. So the new grade three for the glitter deck for Chaos. Awesome. I think with the new numbers you want to run, you're running four of the new grade threes we got from this set for the glitter cards and then just one copy of the old one. So... Definitely need the new support from this set, but if you only had a couple copies of the older Grade 3 at this point, and you're looking to build one of the Glitter decks, you're in luck. It lets you basically Persona Ride with the new card, and then ride the old copy at the end of the turn. Reign Supreme, King of Beasts, and an Emanating Monster, Rasalik. Is this for the... I'm guessing, since it's a monster, it is for the Archite deck, which was another Brantgate deck from the Glitter... Uh, lore, basically. Moving some of the wrappers also, because they are just building up a pile at this point, and I don't want to misplace any cards there. But, next pack. Let's see, this could be a triple rare. I pulled a good number of the triple rares. I just might do a count after this pack to see how many I have pulled so far, because there's 15 in total. Oh, there's Kerf and Bowmanes. I can't recall if I've pulled these not or yet. But we have a Jovial Juggler. So this is for Luquia, I'm assuming I can see pale moon in the card text so here is the new support for that deck also we just got some new promos and now we're pulling new cards from this set also one two three four five not counting this uh seven so we've pulled seven of the 15 triple rares in the set so far not bad though i want to see more of the glitter ones roroa the Greya, and tommy yura still left to pull Silver Fang Witch, Gareth, we have Eternal Thunderbolt, and there he is, a uh, Viridescent Flash Roroa. So this is what I'm most excited to build in this support that we received. So glad I got one triple rare copy so far. Awesome. And I don't know, what are the other rarities? There's double frame rares. Okay, so they're keeping that. Not SPs anymore because we've been doing double frame rares for a while. And then there's the secret one as well. I'm curious as to what those are. Two secrets, two secret V. I'm guessing that's like Blonde, Ezel, and Dragonic Kaiser. And maybe some older art to pull also. But I guess the easiest way to see is to pull them. Let's see. Up oh, we have another one of the Bang Dream triggers. Hello, Happy World, Michelle. And then Gatling Wave Dragon and Sasio, which I think we might have pulled those with the last Bang Dream trigger also. I feel like I always just go back and check the video, but I, they do like to also put a lot of the rares in the same packs together. Here's another one. If you bought this one entry and you're not a fan of Bang Dream, then I definitely do feel bad for you with this one. But I want to know what these are for also. If they're for like a specific nation that you can run them in or what. But we here's Sweet Honey Garden, also one of the searchable blitz orders with that one unit also. And next.
six pack. Let's see. I see a foil. And it is an Absage Adler. So when this unit is put on guard, if your Vanguard is glitter with Eva, so it's for the Eva deck. So it lets you choose an Obscure Dive from your drop and call it to the guard circle as well, which it does gain shield power, I believe, when your Vanguard is Eva. So, or depending on how many orders, I think, are in your order zone. So not bad at all. Another Rising Phoenix. And we have a Stealth Fiend is a Sow for Shoji Doji this time. So the Stealth deck. Getting all the double rares all of a sudden now. And next pack. We have one more entry and then the prize packs left. No Ezel or Dragonic Kaiser Vermillion yet either. We have a Reception Fame Demotic Mansion. Oh, as I say it, we pull it. Dragonic Kaiser Vermillion. Awesome. The art looks so nostalgic, almost like the original Dragonic Kaiser, which is what I'm happy when they do that for the units that they make for the encounter decks. So very nice there. And last entry. I think we still have like six triple rares to pull if I'm correct. And here's a frame rare for beat up Draco Kid. Pulled a good amount of frame rares also from all these packs. And next. Yeah, and Silver Fang Witch's art just looks so different from her original art, even from her V format art. Sweet Honey Garden and Retrospective Dragon. This is uh, Thagrea support as well. Three packs left from these entries. We have Knight of Soaring Spear and Mythyark Mjolmulin. So this is for the Mythyark deck. Also all these aquatic sea animals almost. Like that definitely looks like a giraffe. The one was a rabbit. The only thing is they're all underwater, obviously. It's almost like great, nat great nature took to the seas after all the changes on Cray. We have an Eternal Thunderbolt and Machinery's Factory again with our last pack from the entries. So let's see. We've got anything on in it. There's that adorable starter. Wing Dragon Cano Deptero and Fluctuate Buster Barrage. But we are now moving on to the prize packs. So let's see what we can pull from those. So you, get, you get seven prize packs. Normally, they put some pretty good cards in them since they are supposed to be the prize packs. And we pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the triple rares in the set so far. So let's see if we could pull any more. It's the Greya in these packs. We're going to pull a double frame rare. Let's see. We have Eternal Thunderbolt for Dragonic Kaiser. And mine is your country's foundation, the uh, frame rare for that Blitz order. see what we got next we have knight of soaring spear and bustling mechanic rodney for uh vanguard with silhouette i believe that's the arms deck so more support for that also so far we're foil for foil a frame rare and a double rare we're gonna get a triple rare this time we have Storm Feather Owl, and yup, it is a triple rare, and it is Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel. So we've pulled both of the encounter cards in these sneak packs. They both look very, very awesome. I don't know which one I want to build. If not both, you know, they, it's definitely possible that I may just end up building both just because of how cool they look. And I've got a couple encounter decks so far under my belt also. So what's two more? Let's see, we have Winged Dragon, Cano Deptero, and another Kind Intentions Hunter, Matthias, for the Uroa deck. This time, just a normal double rare. Three packs left. Let's see what we get. We have a Sweet Honey Garden, and we have Will-O-Wisp, Daybreak, Tommy Ura. So this, I believe, we pulled each one of the Glitter Grade 3s aside from the Greya, but we have two packs remaining. So let's see what we get. And we have Recite a Spell Dragon and Hallucinatory Morpho. So you search for a Blitz Order without the Regalus piece. I wonder if it says that on all of the grade twos. I missed that part. If they do all say that or not, let me see another one of them. Nope, just for this one. So it just says normal order, but maybe there's not too many normal orders with Regalus piece in 
Dragon Empire, maybe? I have to go back and fully reread them. But final pack. Let's see, did we save the best pack for last? We already pulled some pretty awesome cards from these prize packs. Let's see if the final pack has anything. We have Dancing Princess. And, oh, nice. This is a secret SP, I believe. Oh, sweet. Did we get any... Uh, why? I don't know why it's in that spot. I can't even tell what this card is. So, let's see. Divine Knight of White Streaks Rooms Guard. Have I pulled this card in this set already? But what is secret... P uh, okay, I'm looking to the actual thing here. There's five different types of this card. This unit is also regarded as the Knight of Rendering Flash Cabret. When this unit is placed on uh, rear guard, count plus one, soul plus one, look at the top three cards of deck, choose up to one, a reel it, reveal it. <laughs> I'm mixing up my words now. This is one of these unique art cards they had. I can't recall if, like, people were wondering if we were going to get these, like, from famous illustrators in Japan or not. If this is one of the five cards that's crazy, because I've seen some of the other arts as well. I believe from, like, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. <laughs> if that's one of those cards, that's awesome. That foil alone looks great. And that was the final pack as well. That was awesome. I definitely am loving this set. There's so many different cards that I want to work on with the new decks, especially the glitter support. I can't wait to update Roroa for you all as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.